Sasa hiyo maneno ya stima. Hapa Bomet. Watu 50% ya Bomet 81,150 people tumewekea stima. Sasa ile imebaki hiyo 50% ingine mimi naelewa. Na nitapanga. Na huyu Davis amesikia vile mmesema. Mao wasi Ange na le gor waji ole katenyi gizi jero. Ko ko amuite amuite kido ko. Ige ogere debi sini. Nga ogere ku ya meje ko leni. Nga tip tiji. Amuite kido ko. Amuite kido ko. Na wasawa. Mambo yale mengine mimi nataka ni wakikishia wa Kenya. Vile nilisema jana maneno ya mafuta katika taifa letu la Kenya ni vizuri nieleze watu wa Kenya tuache siasa duni na porojo ndogo ndogo wale watu wanajaribu kutueleza ati they are telling us we must prove that this transaction between Kenya and the international oil uh, 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 companies is above board I want to tell them without fear of any contradiction na niwaangalie kwa macho wacheni uongo wacheni rumors wacheni speculation semeni ukweli hapa Kenya wakati mimi nimechaguliwa kama rais watu walikuwa napiga mlolongo kwa petrol station akukuata na akukuata na mafuta ni kweli ama si kweli Si watu walikuwa wanahangaika kupiga foleni unaenda petrol station hii hakuna mafuta unaenda hiyo ingine hakuna mafuta kampuni zote karibu kampuni moja za mafuta za Kenya zilikuwa zimefungwa kwa sababu hawakuwa na uwezo ya kutafuta madola hiyo transaction tumefanya ime sort out mambo matatu ya kwanza ime sort out matatizo ya supply sasa hakuna petrol station yenye haina mafuta number one. Number two, ime sort out problem ya madola. Walikuwa wanaangaika kampuni kutafuta dola kutoka benki hii ati benki hii ati benki ile kwa sababu hakukuwa na mpango ya sawasawa. Serikali ya Kenya tumefanya MOU ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaweza kupata kununua mafuta kampuni zetu ziweze kununua kwa pesa ya Kenya badala ya kutafuta madola today all oil companies oil marketing companies in Kenya they buy fuel they buy petroleum products in Kenya shillings something that never happened and they was never imagined na jambo la tatu ni kwamba ile transaction tumefanya na Saudi na UAE leo watu ya Uganda watu ya Tanzania watu wa Rwanda ndio wanaenda kutafuta ile sisi tayari tuko naye because our transaction was the best every country today is looking for the transaction similar to the one that we have so we are above board and i want to say kama unataka kujua i want to challenge our competitors i want to challenge the opposition watuambie badala ya kutuambia we must prove that it is a scam let them prove to us that it is a scam sio kama tunaelewana let them prove to us waende kwa oil marketing companies ya kenya oil marketers wenyewe wamemwambia mtu ya kitendawili akome kusema uongo oil marketers the players the stakeholders the stakeholders in the petroleum product industry themselves have confirmed that what we have done is the best for Kenya is the best for every citizen and is the best for all the stakeholders mimi naendesha serikali yenye iko na uwazi hizo contract zote they are available ziko bunge tayari Wacheni kutuada ati mnataka tuwapatie contracts. Contracts iko public. There is no secret contract anywhere. Contract iko public iko bunge. Wabunge wote wako huko. 
wabunge ya serikali wako ndani ya bunge wabunge wa ubinzani wako ndani ya bunge waende waangalie hizo uh, contracts na wa interrogate watajua sisi we are running an administration that is above board and that looks for the best interest of the Republic of Kenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie ndugu zangu ya kwamba haya mambo tunayafanya pole pole we are turning the corner and Kenya is going to go places kwa hivyo msikue na wasiwasi tuko imara na Kenya tutaibadilisha mimi nataka niwashukuru maaskofu wetu niwaambie asante sana kwa kutu, kutuombea tuko na kazi nyingi ya kufanya ushirikiano mkubwa na hawa viongozi wote na tunataka kupeleka Kenya mbele watu wengi tumewasikia wanasema oh unajua Kenya ilikuwa pamoja na Malaysia ilikuwa pamoja na Singapore ilikuwa pamoja na Korea lakini wale sasa wamefika kiwango ingine Kenya imekwama hapa nyuma lakini hatutaki kufanya ile Korea walifanya ile Singapore walifanya ile Malaysia walifanya ndio wafike mahali walifanya walifika tunataka tu kuingedhi hapa na kukaa na kukaa sijui kienyeji if truly we believe that those like Korea, Singapore and Malaysia that were with us 40 years ago and today they are in the first world we must ask ourselves 